had a spiritual attack um, or something. He, I don't think anybody, including my own family, didn't know that I was going to come out and say it. Okay. And I was free to it. You understand? Because the idea is to protect this person. When I found out, I was buying him caps. I was buying it. Wow. I was getting him things to wear to just for him to, you know, disguise himself. Almost all the cap he's wearing, I bought all of them. Wow. Yeah. So you know, it's like um, I'm, I was trying to you know cover for him. Cover up for I him. Look at him denying everything and lying to my face, and then um, doing what he did and left me in pain. That would not have taken anything from him to just either send somebody or check some, you know, ask somebody to say, oh, he doesn't see. He even told me while this thing was going on was that somebody said they should help me. He did not answer the person because he knows that I'm not a good person. Can you imagine? Help me. Somebody you dated for six years. Help. Hello, guys. Welcome once again to The Journey TV. It happened that this lover started a live video with Alima Abubakar just to talk about Apostle Suleiman, like all she went through. You don't want to miss this gist, too. I beg, sit back, relax, and enjoy. So, I bring to you the gist of Apostle Suleiman and Alima Abubakar as it be hot. It happened yesterday. Um, this lover started a live video with Alima. For so long, she has been quiet. She has only been dropping messages and at this point she said she has had it up to here and she wants to speak she wants the world to know about all that apostle suleiman has been doing but first and foremost i would respect everyone on my platform and all your comments for so long so many people have been telling me to stop calling him apostle but this day i have learned from now on i would refer him as suleiman i don't come on the apostle no let me go on to the gist of the day coming from the first the first gist what what brought all this out was that after um all this was happening alima fell sick and the rest alima sent a message to apostle that people have been on her dm that they know she had an affair with apostle suleiman if she should debunk the news but apostle told her to go and die just imagine a message from a man of God you had an affair with, a relationship with. That apostle told her to go and die and this is how she lost it and said, at this point, I can't have it anymore. It is better I open up before I die. She wants the world to know what she's going through and um, what she did with Apostle Suleiman before she dies. So she finally came out and she opened up. So she said that... Um, she does not know any other girl Apostle Suleiman is sleeping with. Like, she was the only one to her own best of knowledge because a list was dropped recently by Gislova that brought out so many celebrities' names like Destiny Etiko, Uju Okoli, and the rest. Alima Abubaka, she said she picked her name and accepted the fact that, yes, she had something to do with Apostle Suleiman, but she doesn't know any other celebrity that they were actually dating. So Apostle would always hide every other lady from her. But the only person she knew was Yabo Ojo, which she claimed, which Apostle claimed that Yabo Ojo was his cousin. <laughs> Apostle Suleiman, how Yabo Ojo take to your cousin now? <laughs> I tell you, it is not funny, but how did Yabo Ojo turn to Apostle Suleiman cousin? That's the question I want to ask, but you know now, all in a format. So, she also said that she needs to speak before she dies, that she introduced some of her friends to Apostle Suleiman, which means Apostle had affair with her friends. See what happens in this Nollywood industry. But she said these ladies are not from the Nollywood industry, they are just normal girls. I wonder why a man of God would have so many sex scandals all around him. And he has not come out to speak on this matter. Because Alima Abubaka has claimed that she has evidence to everything she has said. So why is Apostle Suleiman not coming out to talk about these things? That is the question. I am not judging him, but why is he not out to come and say, Oh, I didn't have an affair with this lady. I never did such. Come live on 
on the live section where you can be questioned. Well, or let's bring Alima to the studio with you because you're a pastor and so many people are looking up to you. But at this point, he's not saying anything. I believe 90% of what she has been saying is actually true because no big or rich man does try try and say something about Alingo Dangote tomorrow and see if his lawyers will not come after you immediately. They will come after you immediately as long as they know that you are lying. But nothing of such has happened. So let's see. Let's let's just let me continue the gist. So Alima also said that um, she does not know about the Ghanaian girl that was mentally unstable. Remember, there was a name linked to Apostle Suleiman, a Ghanaian actress, and she became mentally unstable at some point. And Alima Abubakar says she doesn't know anything about that. So while she was being questioned on the live video, I tell you, you need to see her face. A, a picture of her is being displayed right now. I tell you, uh, Alima Abubakar is not looking good at all. Like, at all, at all. But to the glory of God, she said she's getting better. She's way better than before. Alima used to be a very pretty lady and at this point, she's just thanking God for saving her life and trying to advise every young lady out there. I tell you, it is not easy to make money, especially in this part of the world, if you're in Nigeria. It is not easy to make money. So when these ladies see fast money, even the guys, not just ladies, when guys also see fast money, they want to jump into it. Ladies would want to have an affair with rich men, boys who want to go into fraud. If they don't go into fraud, they go into same sex and the rest. But life is actually very difficult in this part of the country. When you don't have a job, the government is not even creating one. When you start a little business, the government will kill the business. But at some point, we need to just take a break and pray to God for God to help us. I tell you, this is why we need to get the 2023 election right. Don't vote for anybody based on the fact that the person belongs to the same religion with you. 2023, let us get it right too. Let's not go into politics. Let's continue with Alima Abubakar. So she also said that she was in coma for three weeks. Do you know why she was in coma for three weeks? She was bleeding. She said anytime she sits down that she was bleeding. Heavy, heavy, heavily. Just imagine. Imagine she was bleeding and she said when the sickness started that Apostle Suleiman was having an affair or having intercourse with her while she was bleeding. Just imagine. So she also said that um, they dated for six years. So how will Apostle Suleiman debunk a relationship of six years? Apostle Suleiman bought her a ring and a wristwatch to show he loves her. The ring was a proposal. He said he was single, he wasn't married. But I would also question Halima Abubakar because you cannot tell me a pastor like that told you he, he was single. So why were you guys hiding the affair? Why, why wasn't it open? Because he's actually not a priest. It is only a priest that He's not allowed to get married, but according to the Roman Catholic Church, but pastors are allowed to get married. So why are you people having a secret affair? So that is one place I would question Alima Abubakar because she said she didn't know he was married. I don't want to believe that she knew he was married. I would say she knew he was married, but for the fact that he was paying so much money into account, you, you know, ladies are like that once the money comes in, the, they, they stop questioning so many things. Once you can spoil them with gifts, imagine a guy buys you a car, rents you an apartment, he's always funding your account, and all he does is just come make love to you, and he's gone. So they don't question, they, they don't even question where you are. They, they don't care if you even call them at night because one alert will just make them excited or text you, ah, thank you, thank you, thank you. But, that is it. We need to question those we are dating. You need to, 
you, you don't just start a relationship and sit back and feel everything would go all well. No, 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 no. You need to make your own finding. Is this person a loyal person? Is this person, how does this person even get money? These are things we need to find out when we are in a relationship. But this story is one story that every lady and every guy out there needs to learn from. I tell you, she has really been through a lot. And she also said um, that um, most of the people she knew Apostle Suleiman was having an affair with, that he was sleeping with, are all dead. Just imagine, they are all dead. That one is on a wheelchair, she had an accident and she's having issues with her spinal cord. She had, she, she actually said she has um, a taped interview with these ladies in her evidence box. And at this point, Alima Abu Bakr is ready to go to court because Apostle Suleiman has been threatening that he will send his lawyer, they will sue, they will sue. She said all she has gotten are just fake, fake, fake letters. No one has ever called her to court that she wants the apostle to come out and take her to court take me to court and i will defend myself i will bring out all the evidence i have i tell you in this life anything you do you need evidence at this point because people out there would always want to play smartphone on you especially when you are down but we need to question these things two things i need to question in all i have said is why would a man be having sex or having intercourse with a lady while she's bleeding. Another thing we need to ask or question is all the ladies he has been having an affair with, most of them are dead. So why are the parents or why are the family of these people not speaking out? Because most times, all the celebrities, so many of them are from poor backgrounds. But when they make this money, they, you will, most of them don't push their family. They don't push their family on the internet. So you would always feel, ah, they are rich, they have money, everybody is doing well. But once that famous person, which is making money by maybe sleeping around or whatever the person is doing, start having issues, there's no one to carry them. When, when such happens to them, there's no one to fight. But Alima has said that her family has been her backbone. Her mother even knew about the whole affair with Apostle Suleiman. At one point, she was acting and she couldn't even read her script because she has lost so much blood. Like, so much blood. She, she wasn't understanding what she was doing. They had to call Apostle. Her mother, they, they said they used her phone to call Apostle. Like, 15 minutes calls, he didn't pick. And then he, her mother had to try call Apostle and um, left like 15 minutes call before he called back and he said, what is it? And they had to tell him to talk to Alima so she could act. Because just imagine what is happening, how, how he has caged this girl. It is a very, very sad one. And they also asked her a question about her and Shan George's relationship. She said um, she has no relationship with Shan George, but what happened was at some point, Shan George dragged her for, for, for an occasion outside Lagos, and all of a sudden, uh, Shan George started um, talking about Apostle Suleiman, that she, they, they, she didn't even know why Chan George brought up the topic. She wanted to find out more about her. She said she's an old woman that always pop nose, that would always pop nose. That is it. So she doesn't have a relationship with Chan George, but she had a relationship with Yabo Ojo, but it was a fake one because Yabo Ojo wanted just to know more about her because Apostle was also having an affair with Yabo Ojo because. Apostle and Yabojo are not related in any way. They are not related in any way. I tell you, this is a shocking revelation, and this is just the first part. Other parts are coming with exclusive evidence. This evidence would shock the world, I tell you. So let's see how it goes. Um, and also, finally, before I round up, 
I would like to say that while Apostle Suleiman and Halima Abubakar were dating, she actually got pregnant. She said this with her, by her own self that she got pregnant while dating Apostle Suleiman. So I asked myself, what happened to that baby? What happened to that baby? It's a question we need to ask. It is time that each and every one of you attending um, Holy Ghost Fire Ministry, Apostle Suleiman's Church, question your pastor. It is this is no longer a blackmail when someone comes out on the internet to speak about all she went through. It is no longer a blackmail. It is no longer bloggers looking for room news to just make money. But let us question our men of God. There are so many men of God out there and no one is saying anything about them, about sex scandals and the rest. But why always Apostle Suleiman? That is one question I am here to ask. Why always Suleiman? Why always Suleiman? So what do you think about this gist? We are waiting for Alima Bubaka to spit out the remaining parts of this whole gist and her whole sickness because she was really sick. But um, to the glory of the Lord, she has stopped bleeding at this point. So, what do you think about this gist? Please leave a comment on the comment section. Like this video if you have not liked. And also, please do share with a friend. Remember, you can now reach us at TV on Twitter. Thank you guys for staying tuned. And bye for now.